G'day everybody, welcome back to Starfield. Hope you guys are doing well. We are on the planet, uh, I think this is Ixel 2. And the reason why we're here is because, well, we've been following some of the activities on our activity list and one of those brought us to the Ilios uh, Retreat. And the Ilios Retreat is essentially a retreat for ex-criminals and convicts uh, where, you know, participants essentially come to the retreat to learn about being, uh, you know, ordinary productive citizens of the uh, settled systems. Whether or not they're eventually going to be part of the UC or the Freestar Collective is something that I don't exactly know, but uh, yeah, they're basically here to reform nonetheless. Now the reason why we are here is because, well, uh, an incident had happened between, uh, I guess, maybe one of the convicts and uh, the uh, the construction workers, because the, the place is still under construction, and uh, one of the construction workers uh, was actually kidnapped. Well, we don't even know if uh, they were kidnapped by an ex-convict or criminal, uh, and essentially that's where the story has taken us so far. Uh, it's taking us out here to this abandoned research outpost uh, because one of the clues that were given to us is the fact that uh, when he was kidnapped, when this guy was kidnapped, um, just trying to remember his name now, uh, Mr. Kilmore, that's it, um, he was kidnapped with a bag on his head that smelled like uh, med kits and stuff, so we're assuming that perhaps maybe that has come from uh, this research station. I don't know why, because surely a bag smelling of med kits could have come from, say, the infirmary or something like that. But anyway, doesn't matter. We're here now. This is where the game wants us to be. Uh, and we're about to go into this facility, hoping to find even more clues as to who the kidnapper really is. So, uh, let's see if we can figure things out. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we are supposed to be expecting down here. Maybe some enemies. Oh yes, uh, Code does want to actually have a chat with us. Uh, we'll do that when we're done with this facility, I think. Some robots. Oh, wow. Uh, I wonder if we've seen these types of robots before. Uh, they're probably still out there. They seem to be a little bit chunkier than the robots that we've dealt with in the past. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's uh, gone now. <laughs> Just see if there's any other stuff that we can loot. Another turret here. Let's try and take it out. There we go. All right. Now, let's see if there's stuff worth looting in here. A tablet. Uh, you know what? I'll take a tablet. That might be something worth using as decoration for the uh, little lobby area that we've got going. Ooh, and mugs. Coffee mugs. That could be cool as well. And uh, essentially I do want to keep some books as well. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be able to like stack books, but uh, I'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, this looks good. I think we're forced to use these two pieces for the outside, or we could use that piece and that piece as well, but... Um, Let's just figure out some of the other layers first. And let's just get comfortable with what our options are. Yeah, 
Okay, maybe... Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Yep, and the lowest layer... We'll also try to figure that out. Um, that and... That, I think? Yeah, okay, so we'll use one of these and that. I think we should be good. Right. That wasn't too bad. Another storage checklist. We've seen these things before. This place is very, very familiar. Um, I could loot all of this if I really wanted to make quite a bit of money. Um, and just hand it over to Ko. But maybe we won't rush into that just yet. Perhaps maybe there's better stuff that we could loot and hand over to Ko. So I'm not entirely sure why he's using his, uh, what is that? Oh, God. Scared the crap out of me. Uh, let me switch to, ooh, yes. Uh, there's the Varun weapon that we haven't tried out. Never mess with a co. They're gone. Yeah, I thought this was uh, a turret. I guess it's just there for decoration. Um, yeah, why is Ko still using that rifle? I thought I gave him the, um, the, oh, okay, he's now using a completely different rifle. Why? <laughs> we do what we must. Seriously, uh, we half the there stuff. Got a moment. I don't got many friends, so I figure I got to level with you. My past keeps showing up. I should get ahead of it before I get behind it. <sighs> Hell, this is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I forget that he does want to talk to us, and I was going to trade some gear with him, but that's okay. Let's just have a chat with him first and see what happens. Um, yeah, well, look, no matter what happens, Sam, I'm in your corner. That... that means a lot. You know, when I turned 18, my dad used one of his many connections to get me my first real job. That, plus the magical co-family name, meant I was shipping freight out of Aquila. There is a way to take the wonder out of space. It was working for that outfit. Every milligram of helium-3 accounted for. Timetables down to the second. Too busy to ever really appreciate anything. Or even look up. For a first job, you could have done a lot worse. That's the way my dad looked at it. On paper, I see your point. But it was rough. So, an opportunity comes by from the boss man. He says, run this job, don't ask questions, and there's a bonus. Hell, I was still just a kid. I jumped on it. I knew I wasn't shipping some dried mangoes, but... Suddenly, God help me, it was fun. What was fun about it? Up until then, I tried my best to be the dutiful son. I hated it. But man, I tried. This... This was a rush. It's a thrill. Lying through my teeth to customs, even that shady delivery guy, it felt like I was finally, truly living. 
I could see the appeal. And you're a hell of a lot smarter than I was. So, uh, more jobs started coming. And everywhere I went, suddenly dangerous people were much better armed. I'd hear about armed conflicts and civilian casualties. Innocent casualties. And I'd pretend that wasn't me. Maybe I wasn't smuggling weapons, maybe I was carrying something else. As long as I never open the boxes, I can keep pretending. You know you didn't kill those people. Not directly. And I'd tell myself they'd get guns from someone else. But in my heart, I knew blood was on my hands. Soon the boss man's relying on me, and the pay was nice. We also started partying a lot together. Hard. There are whole weeks that are blank. Never had a lick of trouble. <sighs> Till I did. Were you that good at it? <laughs> at the time, I thought I was the bee's knees. But looking back, a lot of it was dumb luck. I swear my damn name got me out of trouble most of the time. Oh, you're a cold like Solomon? They just waved me through. Well, you can't keep playing with fire without getting burned. You're right, of course. To this day, I don't know what I was running that last job. But it was tasty enough, a whole mess of Crimson Fleet jumped me at the rendezvous. Now, a sane man would have been scared. But I looked at my pissant trading skiffs, dual cannons, and shouted, Oh, this is on! Yeah, I blew up one of the pirates before they realized that I was out of my gourd. I managed to get them down to two left before every system I had was fried. I was done. And that should have been the end. But that's when the rangers showed up. You must have been incredibly relieved. <laughs> you think? And then, dependable and straight as an arrow, Lillian Hart came on the calm, and well... It's like hearing the voice of an angel. The rangers took them out, no problem. All that's fuzzy, though. See, I passed out. And when I came to, Lillian was there. Seems the rangers were... Impressed with me. Offered me a job. Yeah, by all rights, it should have been a prison cell, but... Lillian... She... Saw something in me. And I took the job. And that's it. All my cards are on the table. And Lillian knew you were a smuggler? Officially, my cargo was destroyed by the fleet. Unofficially, hell yes she knew. She jettisoned it herself. I don't know why she did it, but she stuck her neck out for me. And after she helped me sober up and put the mess I was back together. Well, if you haven't done anything you're ashamed of once or twice, you haven't really lived. That's, uh... Well, that. But the thing that scares me... is Cora. I mean, I gotta tell her someday. Sometimes the way she looks at me... I'm not worthy of that. But to see that look gone... She thinks a world of you. It'll be fine. That's easy for you to say. Just so you know, all this, this is why Lillian is something else. And I know you're right, I, I need to let her into Cora's life in a big way. I just need to get up the nerve to talk with her. Well, for now, let's do something more cheery. Like getting a root canal. A root canal? Well, more like blasting through these robots, but... Uh, I was gonna you know, the way you inspect your gear, my friend, so wealth, right? let's just take a quick look at what you've got. So, is it... 
is it the ammo that this guy is holding on to? And that's what's determining... Ah. Uh, hmm. So if we want him to use... Uh, the pistol, maybe we need to just remove the 11 millimeter. Let's see if that does the trick. Uh, actually, I'll carry anything you need. He might need well, to actually equip the um, the weapon as well, right? So I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see if he actually uses it or not. Because yeah, it is actually quite frustrating uh, the mechanic of uh, equipping your companions, making sure that they're kitted out with the uh, the gear that you want them to actually use. I don't know why the game makes it so difficult. Either that, it's me just not understanding how it work, works uh, specifically. <laughs> Kodos Crater. It is a beer. Plus 100 damage resistance. It's pretty good. We'll just consume that. You know, I should actually be just consuming all of the things that I find immediately to restore some of my health and stuff. Oh, potatoes! We definitely need potatoes. Um, we need potatoes so that we can help uh, that girl um, leave the colony ship, right? So I don't really know how else we're going to find potatoes. Maybe if we go to like the uh, trading authority, or the trade authority, maybe we'll be able to find potatoes there. Who knows? So, I'm sort of interested in finding, like, a general goods store. Actually, there is a general goods store in uh, the Elios Retreat, right? Um, I'm pretty sure we saw one. Anyway, which way are we going? That away. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, that, that's totally natural. Well done, well done. Yeah, let's just try and loot the entire place before moving on. Uh, does that work? Uh, that works. This... Yeah, okay, that might work. Tricky. Actually, this is kind of tricky. I'll just try something. Hope for the best. Yeah, okay, that way. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, we've got a cell key here. Or if we need to open a cell at some point.
I can see why I prefer traveling without any companions whatsoever, because, yeah. Shit like that. Shit like that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Really immersion breaking. Armored Hell. Wonder if that's a reference to Armored Core or something. Uh, were we in here? I think we were. I was gonna backtrack a little bit, guys, because um, I just can't remember if there were other doors through here. I think there was this, but yeah. One second, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. Just had a real-life thing to attend to. Um, let's continue our... <laughs> oh, it's man. Good to be out and about. Well, lives get stuffy sometimes. Oh, man. I wonder, I wonder if he's actually gonna fix himself. Or if he's just gonna be permanently floating. But uh, anyway, let's continue uh, and let's try and find our way here. So there's this area down below us. We should actually just check this area out a little bit before moving on. Um, not really sure if we'll find anything of use. There's these vents. I don't really know if we really need to go through vents. We can probably avoid the vents if we don't really want to go through them. Okay, there's another way down here, and there's a way through here. Uh, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I'm now backtracking a little bit, uh, and seeing if there's another way through uh, around this way as well. Uh-huh. Okay, so I guess maybe not. Maybe through here? Ah, okay, this room is actually isolated. So... Let's just go through all of the stuff here first. May as well consume that stuff. Uh, peak performance permanently adds 5% to melee weapon critical damage. Not really going to be too useful for our current build, but fine. Take every advantage that we can get. Right, um... Maybe we should pick up the odd folder and pen and stuff to decorate with, but anyway. Focus up. Better we get it than someone else. Oh god. Go! Ah, son of a okay, we we fixed him. Maybe. He is still slightly hovery though. Okay, so this Varun pistol is... It's not the best, considering its firing rate, so I think I much prefer a lot of the other ballistic weapons, so let's just switch back. Try and make more use of this uh, urban eagle that we've got. Pencil case? I'll take that. Might look good. For our base. Again, don't want to... Oh, yes, here. Succulents. We definitely want succulents. Ah, uh, can't pick this one up. Hmm. 
Oh, I want an open folder. Sort of want a normal looking closed folder if we can. Notebook? Maybe. Maybe we'll grab that. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if there's a way for us to make, like, random items, or if we just only have the ability to pick them up and transfer them over from, you know, abandoned places like this. Okay, we've used the cell key. This doesn't exactly look like a cell though, does it? It looks more like a server room. What is going on with Ko? It's like jumping around the place. Um, and is he going back to using that rifle again? Yeah, he is. Uh, I, I seriously don't understand how people's equipment works. Uh, actually becoming a little bit annoying so I won't really bother I'll just let them use whatever they want to use there we go I like that firing rate good stuff now let's loot and let's try and figure out what's going on in this place. Uh, we could try and open this up. Right. Is a lead anywhere? Okay. It's back here. Actually, I didn't notice this uh, hidden safe, so let's try and get it open. Okay, so if these two aren't uh, in play, then we should find a fit from all four of the pieces that do count, right? Like, maybe that, and then that, yeah, looks good. Maximum. Great. That Grendel looks pretty badass. Maybe we should switch back to using a Grendel. It's been a very long time since we've used the Grendel. Yeah, why don't we slot that in here. And I think this is potentially a silenced version as well. So we'll check it out for a little bit. I just really like pistols though, for whatever reason. Uh, chunks wine, okay. This gives us some persuasion chance, I'll actually take that. I forgot that uh, chunks does a version of wine, cubed wines. Sounds horrible, but take another coffee mug. What's going on in here? Search the kidnappers' quarters for clues. I'm more interested in searching the kidnappers' quarters for loot. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, either of those two could work. If we use that, then maybe that's the right position there. Um, I'm thinking one of these and one of these. 
works for the outside layer. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Refine ground crew spacesuit. Yeah, that looks good. Cool. Alright. Uh, what's going on here? Threads. Half-eaten sandwich. Seriously. People in this day and age are really wasteful, aren't they? Just leaving half-eaten sandwiches everywhere. Corrupted slate. Okay, that's probably what we're looking for. Return the slate to the retreat. Let's actually just take a look at this slate. Yeah, okay. Definitely won't be able to make out anything. I guess all we need to do is go back to um, the retreat and find out if they can maybe decrypt that slate. Uh, I'm sort of curious about using this Grendel, but I don't think I'm going to have the opportunity right this moment. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm just still also trying to keep in mind that I'm looking for uh, structural materials as well. I'm not entirely sure where we can find structural materials easily and on the regular. Alright, so assuming now I should be able to actually just get myself to uh, the outpost pretty easily from here, right? So let's fast travel there. Alright, at least Sam's no longer hovering, so that's a, a good sign. It's strangely quiet. We have to do a picnic here and get a selfie. Uh, no. <laughs> Where is everyone? I mean, this is the place that I mentioned before where we would want to maybe buy some of those potatoes if we can buy it. But, uh, strangely no one's here. I wonder if something's happened. Oh, okay. People are sleeping. That could explain why there is no one. Everyone's just gone to sleep. We're probably the only person in the entire galaxy that doesn't really run on any form of sleep at all. I gotta be pretty cool if the game sort of told you that you were tired and that you needed to sleep for a few hours before continuing, you know? Uh, might certainly aren't lacking in ambition. get in the way of some of the gameplay, potentially, but it would make sense. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? No sign of our kidnapper, but uh, I did find this. Mm. Not a lot to go on. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Made to look scrambled. And done badly. Looks like... There. Seems there were two of them. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents kidnapping Greg's attack these two they did it all 
any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? Mm, no names, but there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Tracker's Alliance. The Alliance sent two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Doesn't say. Mm, my guess is someone still wants some of the criminals to pay for something. Uh, and they're willing to just pay, you know, bounty hunters off the books to get the job done. Anyway, um... How the heck do you know how to decode that slate, Monica? It's really not that impressive. I used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's Computer Hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. Maybe they've got a vendetta against someone here. Hard to see why else they'd bother. That certainly seems in the realm of possibility. So then this is an easy fix. They're bounty hunters. We pay them to leave us alone. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. We need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? I don't know, can you tell me any more about who these two might be? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them that clearly aren't, but that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely non-violent, well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course, which I think in this case is you. Oh, we can definitely persuade people. Uh... So long as you don't expect me to kill them, sure, I'll do it. I'm certain we can find a way to solve this without resorting to violence. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. I would request you try to avoid any violence. But if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. All right, a few extra creds. We can have a chat with absolutely everyone here, apparently. Um, ask the staff how to deal with the trackers, and then confront the trackers. Well, let's get to it. Ko's just waiting for us out there. Good. Uh, well, let's have a chat with Nevin first. These bounty hunters need to be dealt with. So, any suggestions on how to deal with these trackers? I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Oh, extra 2,500 creds. That's nice. Um... Take care, please. Let's see what Monica thinks. What's up? You want to talk negotiation strategies? I'll help as best I can. Uh, let's just check what you've got for sale first. Try not to be too awestruck. 
So, do you have potatoes? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> she had just the one potato, guys. Uh, how many potatoes do we need for that quest? I'll check in a second here. Any suggestions on how to deal with these trackers? I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Hmm, that doesn't exactly help, does it? Be careful with those goons. Um... Let me take a look. Escape from the Endless Voyage. Oh, okay, I can't see how many potatoes we need here without actually speaking with Diana, which is... kind of annoying. I, I'm sure we don't have nearly enough potatoes to resolve the problem. Let's just take a look at how many we have. Yeah, we only have three. I think at the very least she wants like 20 or something like that, so we'll come back to that. Are you looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're gonna respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not gonna be happy if you handle it that way. Okay. Uh, let's have a chat with Sloane. They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say. And see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Okay. Cool. Good luck out there. Well, it's time to confront these uh, trackers and find out why they're doing this stuff to the people at the Elios retreat. I mean, there's a lot of suspicious stuff going on here, right? There's the construction workers, which we don't really know too much about. Uh, then there's, you know, the matter of... Um, you know, shady characters in the Elios retreat itself. Obviously, a lot of them are convicts. Uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on? Perhaps maybe the contract uh, workers have hired the trackers to get themselves out of the work that they've already signed on for, if that makes sense. Maybe. Um, I'm just going to quickly transfer over some materials and... Uh, I guess I should chuck those potatoes away as well. Or, and maybe some of the random miscellaneous stuff. So, let's just quickly do that. Ah, okay, we've got one potato in the Azure. That's nice. Uh, resources. Transfer all of that, and... All these miscellaneous items. Should I put all of this stuff away? Uh, I think quest items we can't remove, right? Deputy badge. I'll keep that. Plushies? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll keep the plushies in here. Tablet, yeah, okay, and... Okay, should be good. A brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. A brief history of time. Okay. Well, we better keep an eye out for that. I know there was a bookstore that we came across. Uh, where was it? I think that was maybe Achilles City. Uh, maybe we can go to that bookstore and see if we can find a copy. Uh, anyway, um... Oh, hang on. Ah, yes, sorry, we've tagged a different mission, that's why. 
Alright, time to confront these trackers, and I'm thinking we should get sourced before we actually approach them, just so that we've got a few more options in terms of persuading those guys to leave the Elias retreat alone. Um, there is also the matter of maybe scanning a few more things, a few more um, plants that we could probably add to uh, to our list. Um, also, we haven't scanned any of the animals yet. I mean, completely scanned any of the animals just yet. Oh, actually, uh, we don't even need to do the trek, do we? We just need to fast travel. Okay, so I presume the trackers have now returned. We'll have our weapons at the ready just in case. They're probably wondering what happened to all of their robots and turrets, but... ...that we've ransacked their place. Okay, I missed those two. I don't actually see people here, so what's going on? Ah, oh, I guess I'm gonna have to wait for these guys? Wait for the trackers, okay. Uh, just like hanging around here at their base, being all smug. Are you and what the hell are you doing here? A ghost just like hanging out with them. Ah, yes, this game. The immersion level is just second to none. Um, alright, so who are these guys? And just who the holy hell are you? I'm here on behalf of the Elias retreat. I want to talk. See? I told you Kilman was going to lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Quiet. Listen, unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. Ah, uh, I should have taken um, a wine, but I suppose maybe we might be able to get through without it. Why do you care? Are you really afraid of a couple of ex-cons? I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed, keep criminals out of the bounty system, well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? And then maybe the big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios, put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So they're interested in maintaining their way of life. Um, look, we can resolve this without anyone getting hurt. Take the easy way. It's less painful and so much easier. Hence the name. That's so. The folks at the retreat know how to deal with adversity, trust me. Everyone's got their breaking point, just have to find it. You must think you're real tough, picking on a bunch of unarmed office workers and counselors. What? That's... that's not what this is. We're tough. 
even if the retreat succeeds, there's always work for savvy, capable people like you two. I... I guess that's a good point. Fine. We'll leave the retreat alone. Can't make any promises about us being the last, though. Just get out, all right? All right. And that's it. <laughs> Simple as that. All right. Didn't need to blast these fools, although I really do want to give this Grendel a try. You know, instead of being bounty hunters, perhaps maybe they can just change their jobs and be like security or something for the Ilias retreat. If that's the kind of lifestyle they like. Although it could possibly be kind of boring after being a bounty hunter because you're basically, you know, running towards trouble rather than waiting for trouble to come to you. Anyway, we've resolved the issue, so let us make our way back to the Elios retreat and uh, let's see if we can give them the good news, maybe get a little bit more experience, maybe some more cash. And from there, well, I guess we're going to have to decide on what to do next, though I am sort of curious uh, on whether or not we can find some resources like structural materials and stuff. So I might actually play around with visiting a few traders here and there. Uh, material traders specifically. Um, I know there's one in Aquila City at the very least, so uh, we'll do that. Um, and I'm just looking at the time here, but that might actually be the episode. We'll see how we go. Uh, obviously the... Um, the activity list is still quite long, so there's plenty of stuff for us to try and do. So we'll probably continue looking at that list. There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? Sure did, and I convinced them to leave you all alone. That's... That's the best news I've had in quite a while. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, love. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you, in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. Okay, I wonder if there's a little bit more to this than what meets the eye. Maybe Nevin's the one who doesn't really want to work here or something. Or maybe he's offering us work. In which case I would gladly accept. Nevin? Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. Glad I could be of service. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... The situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. I've already shared my own insights, but, well, she wants to talk to you too. Is that something you might be amenable to? Who exactly am I going to be speaking to? Should I be concerned here? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. But you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person. Hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Sure. Uh, well, if that's all you need, yeah, I can talk to her. Ah. <sighs> She'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. Okay, the benefactor. Justin Sneed in Aquila City. And that's fine, we were on our way to Aquila City anyway, so uh, that definitely works out for us. Alright, let's get going.
That's too bad that we can't do additional work for these guys here. Um, I wonder how long it takes for her to restock some more potatoes, but I don't know if I feel like, you know, waiting just to buy some more potatoes from here. I'll, I'll try and see if we can buy potatoes elsewhere. But uh, anyway, let's get moving. Go to Aquila City. Oh, I guess I didn't really need to do the takeoff sequence, did I? Hope you've enjoyed your stay here. Alright, so, uh, Peacemaker, speak to Justin Sneed in Aquila City, let's just fast travel there. And while we're in Aquila City, I do want to take a look at some of the shops. So we'll have a look around. Uh, and Sam, I guess Sam can just like, hang around with us for a little bit. I don't think that really hurts to have him, as long as he's not hovering around like an idiot like before. It should be fine. Let's maybe let go of a few items though. I think we've got like some melee weapons that we probably don't need. Bashing Kodama. Yeah, what did I say? I think I said that we'd pick up more Kodamas, so let's get rid of that. Uh, get rid of that. Uh, I'm not sure about the Varun Star Shard, guys. I might actually get rid of that, but it is fetching a lot of money. Um, I, I don't know why. Um, let's try and find someone who has more cash before we decide to sell this. Uh, 140. Got some mines I think that we could get rid of. And you know what, I'll get rid of the Tesla pylon as well. I don't think we'll actually use that. Okay. Looking good. So we've got Shepherd's General Store. I'm gonna see if uh, this guy has potatoes. I, I get all kinds in here. Here, bro. Oh, two potatoes. Why do these guys only stock like two potatoes at a time? That's kind of ridiculous. Considering the number of people living here, you would think that they'd have like, I don't know, at least they would move like 50 potatoes a day or something, you know? Uh, alright. So, then there's a matter of finding a material store. Uh, arms. Uh, maybe I can sell my Varun pistol. Sure, Laredo makes some good guns, but if you want a range of manufacturers to choose from, my shop will serve you better. If you're looking for a weapon, I've got you covered. You turn out to be a troublemaker, though, and I'll report you real quick. Got it? We get a lot of troublemaker customers here? More than a few, yeah. Unless you're up in the core, life around here ain't easy. Folks can find their way in all kinds of trouble. I've had no end of desperate souls come through that door in search of a way out. I know it ain't technically my fault when someone buys one of my guns and starts shooting up the town, but I still don't feel great about it. Hopefully you ain't one of those kind. Show me what you got. Just so you know, keep it to self-defense. Oh god, alright. My bad. I don't do payment plans or Okay. Uh, let's... See, 4,500 creds. Okay, she definitely doesn't have enough creds for us, so... Hmm and simply bolts in here. Um, chunks. It's not what we're looking for. Terra Brew. Midtown Minerals, here we go. There's not enough to do about here. You're an independent hauler? I can promise you the best rate in town. Alejandra Kane. Welcome to the best mineral dealer in town. 
Ready to deal? Uh, how's business going for you? Lousy. To put it bluntly, the trade authority is muscling in on my business. So far, I've kept them at bay. But they've been stepping up their game lately. They got all their tricks. Intimidation, extortion, bribery, blackmail. Nothing's off the table. Of course, everyone turns a blind eye as long as the Council of Governors finds their services useful. So, I'm on my own. But that's my problem, not yours. I wish there was something that we could do against the Trade Authority, considering uh, what they're doing to local businesses everywhere. So, anyway. Here's my current inventory. Alright, let's take a look. So... No. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't find structural materials here. Actually, what we could potentially do is buy some aluminium. Value 6. Yeah, that's actually not that much at all. 28 though, it's not much. Um, better than nothing, I suppose. Alright, let's go. Uh, one thing that I failed to do, though, was to check with the general goods store uh, if they actually had any structural materials, so uh, let me just go back there and have a look. Why did we suddenly get some creds there? Maybe because, like, we're some kind of local hero or something. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. All kinds of things. So, resources. Structural materials, yes, we need all of these. Let's grab all of it. And we'll transfer that to the ship when we get the chance, but uh, for now, I think we're going to focus on talking to this benefactor. Uh, I have no idea how we're going to get in there. Uh, Okay, apparently it's all the way up there, but uh, we'll reserve that until we get back in the next episode, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Uh, I think there was quite a lot of focus on getting the uh, Elios Retreats mystery resolved, and uh, I think we resolved it quite well, though there is the tail end of it, so I'm hoping nothing sinister happens here when we do meet this benefactor. Uh, and in fact, maybe I'm hoping for some kind of additional side quest. We'll see. Anyway, guys, leave a like or a dislike or a comment or two down below. Stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one.